Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In the tumultuous aftermath of World War II, France embarked on a journey of rebuilding and rearming its military forces, relying on a combination of captured equipment, allied donations, and indigenous designs. Among the notable creations to emerge from this period was the AMX-13 light tank, a groundbreaking armored vehicle that left an indelible mark on the history of armored warfare. The genesis of the AMX-13 can be traced back to 1946 when the Atelier de Construction DC Les Moulinots commenced design work on a new light tank to meet the evolving needs of the French army. Spearheaded by Atelier de Construction Rouen, production of the AMX-13 began in 1952 and continued until 1987, resulting in approximately 7,700 units being completed. While the French army received around 4,300 units, an additional 3,400 were exported to various allies worldwide, attesting to the tank's international appeal. At its core, the AMX-13 epitomized the lessons learned from World War II armored warfare doctrine. Sporting a traditional, track and wheel, system with five double-tired road wheels per track side, the tank boasted a formidable power plant in the form of the SOFA Model 8 GXB 8-cylinder water-cooled gasoline engine, delivering 250 horsepower. With a top speed of 37 miles per hour and an operational range of 250 miles, the AMX-13 showcased impressive mobility on the battlefield. Central to the AMX-13's design was its innovative oscillating turret, developed by GIAT, now Nexter, which allowed for the mounting of a heavy main armament on a lightweight chassis. Initially armed with a 75mm main gun, reminiscent of the German L-71 main gun, the tank was later upgraded to a 90mm main gun in 1966. Despite its compact size, the AMX-13's turret design facilitated efficient crew operation, with only three personnel required, a driver seated in the front hull, and a commander and gunner housed within the turret. The versatility of the AMX-13 platform was further demonstrated through its numerous prototype forms and production variants. Beyond its role as a light tank, the chassis served as the basis for various specialized vehicles, including armored personnel carriers, self-propelled guns armed with 105mm and 155mm guns, bridge launchers, armored recovery vehicles, and air defense systems. The global reach of the AMX-13 extended far beyond French borders, with operators including Argentina, Indonesia, Mexico, Netherlands, Singapore, Switzerland, and Venezuela. Notably, Israeli variants saw combat during the Six-Day War in 1967, albeit facing challenges against Soviet tanks. Despite its eventual retirement from French service in the 1970s, the AMX-13's legacy endures, with some variants still in operation today. In conclusion, the AMX-13 light tank stands as a testament to French engineering prowess and adaptability, leaving an enduring impact on the landscape of armored warfare. From its innovative design features to its diverse array of roles and global presence, the AMX-13 remains a symbol of versatility and effectiveness on the modern battlefield. That's all for now, see you later.